and is still looking good for launch. I'm sure to endeavor to get this place up here in Florida. And we are transferring to Orbiter Internal Power at this time. And Denver is running all its three onboard fuel cells. And we have a go for Odyssey to start. Endeavor's onboard computers have the primary control of the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 20 seconds. Minus 15 seconds. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. We'll go from there to start. Deck Mission Specialist Carlos Noriega. One minute, 36 seconds into the flight. Endeavor 18 miles in altitude, 15 miles downrange. Three good fuel cells, three good auxiliary power units. This view from long range tracking cameras north of the launch pad at the Kennedy Space Center. Standing by for solid rocket booster separation coming up in about eight seconds. <laughs> booster officer here in Mission Control reports a good solid rocket booster separation. Endeavor 32 miles in altitude, 40 miles downrange, putting on a light show for the eastern seaboard as it heads up the eastern seaboard. Guidance has converged, all three computers. And the booster officer reports the ignition of Endeavor's orbital maneuvering system engines. That will be a one minute, 42 second kick in the pants for Endeavor as the shuttle gets an additional lift to orbit to accommodate its 18 ton payload. Endeavor, two engine tail. Two engine That call indicates uh, that should one main engine fail, uh, Endeavour has enough uh, velocity at the moment to reach a transoceanic abort site in Spain. However, all three main engines continue to function as advertised. A good ride so far for the five-man crew of Endeavour. Three minutes, 15 seconds into the flight, Endeavour 50 miles in altitude, 90 miles downrange. Those three main engines gently swiveling to hit a keyhole in space for main engine cutoff at the eight and a half minute mark into the flight. <laughs> 